reality can be whatever I want. One Thornton and Smash here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the brand new Battle Royale map coming to Apex Legends, because we are less than a month away at this point for minutes to release, which should have a lot of you very hyped up and excited. So we're gonna go over what information is new that we know about, because there is some new stuff coming to the map. We're also gonna go over some things that have changed from prior leaks as well, and also what this all has to do with Crypto, as he's gonna be a pretty key character for it. We're also gonna go ahead and give out some of the Final Fantasy skins. All you guys gotta do is like, comment, subscribe, and a winner will be announced in tomorrow's video. But without further ado, let's jump in to the new district map. So it is finally time and it's a little later than usual, but we are getting a new Battle Royale map for Apex Legends and it shouldn't be that much of a surprise. It has been teased a little bit. There's this new map image right here where it says tensions rise as Sumato faces continuous power outages. And we even have devs going ahead at the beginning of the season saying Sua Tomo is much bigger than this map shows. This is a smaller zone, region, neighborhood, sector, or what other name you might call it. Showing an image that Watson had actually drew, which has crypto on it, saying poor crypto. Now, obviously we've gotten tidbits of information, but there's actually actually a lot more here to unpack and we can actually get a lot of information. So the first thing you're gonna wanna know is that this was originally leaked about a year ago. It was originally slated for I think season 23, but they've obviously moved it up because well, we needed content sooner. And it was a new map called District. This was from an internal leak. It's a Titanfall 2 map. It had wall running and after it drops, all maps could get wall running updates. And for a while, this had people pretty taken aback. A wall running map with wall running updates for the game. Well, unfortunately, a play tester actually came out and said, yeah, there's a BR map. Unfortunately, they did test the wall running, but they decided to take it out. The map is called District in an area of Angel City, which backed up that prior leak. So this was all stuff that was originally planned, which is pretty unique and pretty interesting. And it's sad to see that it's not coming anymore. But now there is some new information that has been announced. Now, the first thing is instead of wall running, Hypermist did find a new type of Trident, which seems to be taking the place of that wall running mechanic. It's a new two passenger version of the Trident mentioned, along with new Trident texture entries for the District map. And this makes me think that we might even get some kind of like hover bike, which would makes sense because this map is all going to be about urban warfare. There was another thing that was also shown to us by Hypermist, and this is a little bit of a lore blurb coming. It says, due to a breach at Hubert Labs, all residents of the Electro District are to evacuate immediately. Highly toxic chemicals from the lab have compromised water and air quality and emergency procedures have failed due to rolling blackouts is not a drill. This is actually pretty massive and I haven't seen anyone really talk about this yet, but let's break that information down a little bit. One, Tuatamo is one of the largest cities in the Outlands. It's known for its resemblance to Angel City, including a similar angel statue that lines up with the leaks of this originally being thought to be an angel city map then right below that it says it contains at least two districts old town and electro electro is the place that is actually being evacuated in that lore blurb hypermiss showed us it also lets us know tickac orphanage is located here and is where crypto grew up which is once again a huge reason on why we are probably getting the crypto heirloom recolor next that you can see right here it also comes with a brand new heirloom finisher it'll be interesting to see if crypto's sister actually has some ties into it as she is now free from octane's father slash grandfather's role as he has now been killed by Revenant's army. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. Let's go ahead and go back to that lore blur from Hypermist. And we know that the Electro District is one of the main two districts of this map. It also says, due to a breach at Humbert Labs. Now this is incredibly interesting to me because when you look up on the Apex Legends Wicca, you will see that information I just read to you about the two districts, but below that it says Holly Grove, which is Cossack's birthplace. And above that, it's the former home of Humbert Labs where Alexander Knox was supposedly found dead. If you looked into the lore at all, about Caustic, he was the guy that actually was one of their brilliant scientists at that labs and helped create the caustic gas. So I gotta be honest, when I see this hypermist blurb about highly toxic chemicals being released from the lab in the home city of Crypto, where all these characters are actually a fair amount of these characters are from, which is the planet Gaia, which is where Stormpoint is, that's the home of Ballistic, Caustic, Crypto, and Rampart. I think that when we get introduced to this map, something very crazy is going to be tied in with Caustic, Crypto, his sister, and possibly even Watson as it's been set up in the lore. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little bit crazy, but I think they are setting up something very unique and very interesting. Now, along with that, there is some hope that there is going to be the new Titanfall maps actually added with this season. It makes sense because District is actually themed after Angel City, which is pretty similar to the Titanfall map. We've been waiting for these forever. Cryo Rundown found them in the game files. There's Exoplanet, Homestead, Angel City, Blackwater Canal, Boneyard, Crash Site, Rise, Eden, and Colony. In fact, we've even seen gameplay of Colony in an early season 12 leak, which had a brand new mixed type game mode. So I'm hoping that this is finally coming in with the brand new.
new map. It also seems rumored that according to that list of leaks, that on number five on the list, the new map will be a Titanfall map with wall running and dual wielding pistols. So it makes sense that the Fnatic, that dual wielding energy pistol is finally ready to go. If it is not ready to go, which is totally possible because wall running was removed around a couple months ago, it will be interesting to see what they do to shake up the meta. Comment down below, what are your guys' thoughts on the district map coming to Apex Legends? Do you think it'll be a good fit or would you have liked to have seen them go with a different style and with a different type of content? Also, if you guys are looking for information on the finals, a brand new free to play game, FPS shooter, there's this channel right here where I cover a bunch of content on it along with my editor, Novell, who works on that one as well. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands. I'll see you out there.